goes like this. I, for my whole life, I go up and down. And I get these little times where I go through these little stages and I get an itch in me. An itch that says, I need to improve myself, I need to get better. I'm not happy with where I'm at and I know that I can do better. So, uh, I got online, I was, I was actually thumbing through some stuff and I came across, I stumbled across really, I wasn't even really trying to, trying to find anything like inspirational, motivational, nothing like that. But nonetheless, I stumbled across, which I don't think it's happenstance, but I stumbled across a uh, video. In this video, it said, this video will change your life. This video will change your life in 30 days, I think. Close enough. So, I said, well, yeah, it sounds kind of cheesy, right? Everyone says that. Oh, this video all the time. Ah, you know what? Okay, so, period, dude, I need to better myself. I need I need something. Uh, so, I'm going to watch it. Well, this video was, it was, it wasn't, it was a recording. Um, the recording was recorded by a man named Earl Nightingale. And it basically had to do with the law of attraction. Okay, so if you don't know what the law of attraction is, it essentially says that if you think positive, and if you believe that something is true, it will become true. So I started thinking about this. I watched the whole video and I'm like, wow, it's really pretty impressive really got me thinking about things like I know that I think negative a lot I talk negative a lot uh, I don't have the most positive outlook on anything on life I listen to a lot of negative stuff on radio and all that stuff so so you know what there's something to this I'm gonna look into a little further uh, so the video basically said it's a 30-day challenge okay so it says uh, in the next 30 days take the challenge to um, Think more positive. Get rid of negative thoughts. Make a goal and come to the belief that that goal is true and, and real. Well, I wasn't going to commit to it until I was ready to commit to it. I wasn't going to say, I wasn't going to do it and then not commit to it. So I said, okay, well, I'm not going to start with today. Uh, I looked a little further into it. That was in the mid-afternoon that I came across that. I went home. I felt really good and I told my wife about it. And I, uh, that next day I said, you know what I'm going to do, then tomorrow I'm going to give it a little dry run. I'm going to think more positive, I'm going to focus a little more positive energy, whatever you want to say. Uh, and I'm going to, instead of listening to negative talk radio or news or whatever, I'm going to turn on some self-help stuff and, you know, all that cheesy, you can type stuff, whatever. So... That whole day, I decided I'm going to be positive. Uh, I'm a truck driver. I drive all day, every day. So every day, there's people cutting me off, doing things that drive me nuts, and I let it get to me. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to let those little things get to me. I'm going to be more positive, and I'm going to give it a shot. Well, lo and behold, I gave it that shot that day. And I, I came home that night, and I told my wife, I, I came home happy, happier than I've been in a long time. I felt great. My body physically felt good. Like, I've had little back issues here and there, and I've had little things, and I just felt much better. I'm not saying everything was cured. I'm not saying there was a miracle that happened. What I'm saying is that I felt better, and it intrigued. I got intrigued. I was like, okay, well, there is something to this. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I don't know if I'm yet to commit to it yet because, you know, I want to I wanted really commit to it if I'm going to do it. So, I said, you know, I told, I told my wife about it, and I said, I'm going to see how it goes. I'll think about tomorrow. So that following morning, which was yesterday, I went, I woke up feeling the best I felt in so long. I went into work feeling amazing. And although it was just a normal day and it had the normal stresses and it had the normal uh, hiccups, if you will, the stuff didn't bother me because I was focusing on being positive and... Uh, about 10 o'clock that morning, 
I got this rush of, I don't know what it was. I don't know if I was tapping into a higher uh, brain wave. You know, we only use like 10% of our brain, if that. I think I used like two or three, honestly, before today. Um, and I don't know what it was, but I just, I got this amazing feeling. And I started feeling like this uh, feeling of just like, yeah, I can. I can do it. Um, I, You know, so I, I the night before, I'd kind of roughly come up with a goal. Okay, I'm going to be financially independent. It said, uh, on one side of the card that you write out for this 30-day thing, is one side you write out uh, your goal that you want to achieve. Because what are we without goals? I learned, I just, I've never taken goals seriously in my life. I, I've heard people say that my whole life. I've never taken it seriously. I've, uh, goals, <laughs> I, I have a goal to get a big cheeseburger for dinner tonight. I, yeah, I, I've achieved that goal a lot of times. So I've not done goals that much, maybe a little bit here and there subconsciously, but I've never intentionally put something forth and worked for it. So basically it says you need to come up with a goal. Well, I kind of haphazardly come up with a goal. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to be financially independent, right? Sounds good, right? Yeah, cool. Well, that next morning when that moment of lucidity hit me or whatever you call it, it just, that moment of clarity hit me, I realized it wasn't a good goal. I needed to come up with something a little more specific and I needed to come up with something that was better. I didn't know what it was yet. So anyways, I went through the day and I started just really concentrating on, on positive affirmations and, and just little things and just canceling out the negative things. And I, I don't, I don't really know, but I, I, long story short, long story long, I made the decision that I'm going to, I'm going to commit to it. I'm going to commit to it and I'm going to do it. And I wasn't going to commit to it until I knew that it was true and that it was going to happen. And so here I am. And that was yesterday. And yesterday was the best day I've ever had. Yesterday I was, uh, Yesterday was the day that I committed. That yesterday I consider, I think that's the first day of the notable change in my life. I think I turned the tides yesterday and I'm headed in a direction that I think I'm, I'm going to go through this 30 days and I know that in 30 days people are not going to, they're going to be asking, what is going on with you, dude? You're crazy. Like you're, uh, you've changed and it's going to be a positive change already. And two days in, and I have confidence I haven't had in 10 years. Uh, I I mean, you know, anyone can say, well, it's gonna last for a minute and then it's gonna go away, but it's not, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, because in order for this to work, you don't just say, oh, I'm good and I'm successful and I'm, you have to believe it. You have to believe it with every ounce of your being or else it's not, it's not. So not only do I, I believe it, I believe it's already happened. I've already, I believe it's already done. And this is how I can explain that, is that, okay, say you go to the doctor and you check in, all that stuff. What are the first thing they do? They pull your chart. What does your chart have on it? It has every bit of information about you and your medical history. It says, he has this afflictions, these, these uh, allergies, he's on these medications, he's this blood type, he's this, he's that. He has all your information right on it everything they need to know. So imagine for a minute, be open-minded about this because you got to be open-minded for this to work and it will work. Uh, it's already working for me. I'm two days in. So, um, imagine that there's a chart. Okay. So we're on a timeline right now on this earth. Me and you are on a timeline where I'm in 2017 right now. Okay. So there's a time timeline that we understand like Today is today, tomorrow is tomorrow, yesterday was yesterday. Well, I don't know, whatever you believe, whatever your theories are in life or your, you know, religion, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you believe, but I would say that most people believe that there's some kind of other realm. There's some kind of other dimension or uh, some kind of other state of being or something, okay? So imagine, if you will, that we are in different dimension. And in our dimension, there's time. There's 2017, 2018, and whatever. Let's go to, let's take a trip to this other dimension, okay? And in this other dimension, there's not time like we know it. 
There's not time like we are experiencing it, okay? And in this dimension, there's a group of people that are at, that are evaluating us humans. That's their job for whatever. I don't know why. Uh, they're evaluating us, and and so on the wall on on the screen that they evaluate, there is a chart for every single human being, and they're looking at it. They don't look at the chart and say, well, his chart says he's doing pretty good right now. We'll see in another two years if he's doing good. No. The chart, they understand. It's it, Everything's already happened. They already know. It What's happened has already happened. So what I'm saying is that those people that are evaluating my chart, they look at my chart and they say, he's already successful. It's already happened. It's already done. And I'll tell you what I've already done. Yesterday, I came up with my goal. Now, I think a lot of people, I know a lot of people are going to say, that's a ridiculous goal. Why don't you set a realistic goal for yourself? That's uh, not realistic. Well, I'll tell you, it is realistic. I know it's realistic because I've seen people do it every day. Uh, People do it every day. So this is my goal. My first goal and the most important goal is in the next 30 days, I am laser focused on this journey, this uh, change in in attitude, change in life, whatever you choose to call it. Um, I'm laser focused on it. And beyond that, my ultimate goal now, my ultimate goal is I decided that in five years from now, so in five years from yesterday, I will have a net worth of $1 million. It doesn't mean that in five years I'm going to be a millionaire. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean in five years that I'm going to make a million dollars over the next five years. What it means is that my net worth in five years will be one million dollars between my house, between my businesses, between all my investments, my cars, everything that's of worth minus debt. So that is true, and it can happen, and it will happen because I already put it on my chart. It's already done. On top of that. You know, everyone has a hard time committing, but when you start doing this stuff and you start think, thinking positive, it's not that hard. It's not near as hard to commit and everything becomes clear and you see things in a light that you've never seen it before. It is for me and I've seen other people go through it. Now I, now I made a connection here. I made a connection and the connection is this. Since I was a little kid, everyone's told me have a positive attitude, think positive positive. Know that you can do it and you will do it, okay? Now, I've had times, I've, I, I've been negative so much in my life. I remember when I was a kid and I was working for my grandparents and my grandparents' friend was watching over me, kind of making sure I was doing right. And I was mowing the lawn and the lawnmower stopped running. And I go, oh gosh, and there's no reason why I should stop running. Just stop running. It's always been, it's, there's nothing wrong. With, it's, it's a perfectly good lawnmower. Why does it stop running? And then I go, okay, well, I'll go weed eat, right? The weed eater stops running. It's a perfectly good weed eater. So I tell my my grandpa's friend, yeah, I know that that always happens for me. Every time I try to use something, it just breaks. He went on this long diatribe about, uh, you know, think positive. And, and I just thought, well, what are you thinking, old guy? What are you talking about, dude? You know, it's, uh, you're, <laughs> come on, go ahead, take your hocus pocus wherever. Everyone talks like that. Everyone, that's just it. It, it, it. Everything is what it is. It's not, you know, it just is what it is. Well, not only have I heard it there. So, so far in my life, I've heard it from positive people. And I've heard it from, I've heard it from people that I'm really close to. And I love very much. And I've pe- heard it from people that I don't care about so much. Um, and there's another thing too, that's really kind of crazy. And I, it kind of makes me look stupid, but I'm going to tell the story anyways, because it has a lot of merit in what I'm saying. When I was 18 years old, I was a senior in high school and I, growing up in school, I was the loser. I was the, the fat kid. I was the, um, no, I was the odd man out. No one wanted to hang out with me. And, uh, my senior year in high school, we were moving my grandparents. My grandparents are the most positive, successful people I've ever met in my entire life. And we were moving them. They moved to the Philippines. And so we were moving stuff out of their house. And we started going through their stuff. And I and my dad, not me, my dad came across a, a box of just all these 
programs and tapes of uh, self-help stuff. And for whatever reason, he got intrigued to look at it. And he started telling me about all this stuff and it intrigued me enough to where I, it was like hypnosis and like, okay, I'm going to lay in my, my bed and it's going to hypnotize me and I'm going to like change and stuff. Right. So I go, well, you know what? My dad seems pretty focused. My dad seems pretty serious about this. So I'm going to give it a shot. I gave it 30. I don't even think it was 30 days. It was right around 30 days. Maybe it was only a couple weeks. I had, I have a short attention span at any time, but especially back then. So, but nonetheless, I committed myself then and it was all about the same stuff, thinking positive, thinking about what you want and it will come to you. Well, I will tell you that after one month of working on that, that was midway through my senior year in high school. By the time I graduated high school, I had 10 good friends and some of the kids were pretty popular. Like I, kids that I would have never guessed in a million years would hang out with me were laughing at my jokes. They were inviting me to places I've never been invited to. And I was having fun. I was going to parties. I was having a blast. And I'll tell you that what I learned during that month and the things that I implemented in my life took it, had an effect on me for years to come. It's, it's had an effect on me my whole life since then, but the bulk of the benefits I can positively track took me from 2001 all the way to I think about 2008 I met my wife in 2007 and I'm telling you that's the reason why I met my wife is because of the attitude that I had at the time and the things that I knew um, and then it, then I let myself get negative I started getting into the rigmarole of life and blah 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 and I and I I forgot about that stuff for a long time and I never realized the heaviness of it. And I've looked back since and I've thought about that. I said, you know what? There was something there. It really affected me, but I never, and I even talked about it. I told my wife about it multiple times. You know, I did this back then and it had such an effect on me. And I said, and you know, why, why did I, if it had such an effect on me, why did I stop? Well, I've made the connection now. There's a reason why I got a boost from the time I was a senior in high school to the time I was 2008. And there was a, there's a reason why I've overcome a lot of the obstacles in my life is because I did that back then. And now I'm here and I started going down a more negative path. I started, I was just whining and complaining all the time and bitching and just, you know, everybody's, you know, everybody's my problem and listening to negative stuff all the time yesterday I decided to change that I started to change that two days ago but I made the decision yesterday yesterday was the best day I've ever had in my life until today yesterday was the best time best day I've ever had in my life I mean aside from my kids being born and the obvious stuff my two boys being born getting married to my beautiful wife I'm not talking about that but as far as me being in my skin I'm a self I've always been a self-conscious person and immediately I'm going out, I'm talking to people that I never would. And it's not even a thought. I just go out there and I'm like, I'm like carrying on conversations. The day before I'm like, I just, oh, I don't know. How do you carry on conversations? I don't know. How do, what do you know what to t talk about? I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, you know? All of a sudden I'm carrying on conversations. Like I've never, like I haven't for years or, you know, for maybe for my entire life. I don't know. But and I have this feeling a burning desire in my soul right now that is so incredible now the reason why I'm here there's three reasons why I'm here and if you haven't zoned out yet or turned it off which a lot of people probably have the reason why I'm here is for three reasons one because if I don't proclaim to the world that I'm serious about this and that it's done my charts made and the, the contract signed now just so you know I haven't actually made the chart I've only made it my mind, which it's, it's real and it's there, but it's in my mind. I'm going to go home right now. I'm on my way. I'm just right around my corner. I'm sitting here on, next to my house. I'm going to go make my chart right now. I'm physically going to make my chart and you got to sign a contract. You can't, you have to commit to this. Don't even start. I mean, even if you do it a little bit, it's going to benefit you. There's no negative and only positive that you can get out of this. Even if you do it half ass, but you know what, if you do it, full content, full, full, 
extent, you will benefit amazingly. I've already benefited amazingly in two days. So I'm going to go, I'm going to write a contract. And it's a legal binding contract. It's legal binding in my soul. And so the three reasons why I'm here is I have to proclaim to the world that I'm doing this. And you know what? If I, if I didn't do this, I was scared to do this because once I do this, then if I fail, which if I failed, I'm not going to, but if I did, we know why it's right here. I allowed my negative emotions to get the best of me. It's not because I'm disadvantaged. It's not because I'm this or I'm that. It doesn't have anything to do with anything. Any excuse that anyone comes up with is their own excuse. And it's their own reason why they can't succeed. And it's their own excuse. It's their own reason why they can't succeed. It's not anybody else's reason. So, I knew once I put this video out, if I knew I was afraid to put this video out because I know that if I fail, I'm going to be embarrassed or whatever. That's all gone. I don't care. It's already happened. It's done. You know, people are going to say negative things anyways. I don't care. That's I'm done worrying about that too. It doesn't matter what people think anymore. All I worry about is how I'm going to get to my million dollar goal. Two is that I'm so amped up right now and I am so sold on this. I am so convinced that it is absolutely true that someone might be able to get a little bit of my energy right now. I got other people's energy. That's why I'm here is I fed off other, you know, other people told me about it and made me believe it. So that's the number two. I'm here to try to motivate anybody that'll listen. I don't, I expect three people to watch this and one and a half of them won't go through. It won't, won't watch it past two minutes. Anybody, I'm just, anybody that I can possibly help with this knowledge that I have right now, I want to help. Uh, three is that when you need to become a millionaire in five years, you need help. So I'm just putting it out there. I'm not expecting anything. I'm not asking anything. I'm certainly not asking for donations. But if there's anybody out there with an awesome idea, if there's anybody out there with an opportunity, if there's anybody out there that wants to make a million dollars or has made a million dollars and wants to teach me how, wants to give me guidance, wants to give me uh, comments, anything. I don't care. Anything that can help me, it's just another resource, and I need to take every resource I can. So those are the main three reasons why I'm doing this. Now, keep in mind, 20 years ago, people were doing this. That, that's the other thing. That I know this is real. Everyone's told me throughout my life that this is true. The other way I know it's true is that every single person you hear on TV, every famous person, every person that's accomplished anything, they, they say, I believed it was true. I made it. Jim Carrey wrote himself a check for $10 million and said, by 1995, I am going to have this $10 million. He wrote himself a check. And you know what happened in 1995? He got signed to the mask and made $10 million that year. Henry Ford said, whether you think you're going to succeed or whether you think you're going to fail, you're exactly right. Did you know Henry Ford didn't even make a car until he was like 37 or 47 years old? Like middle-aged, almost old. I mean... And, and look at all he did. He created the, the car world that we know. Every amazing person that's done anything influential in life has gone by this uh, pattern. And it, it works. It's real. There's nothing. It's not fake. Uh, the other way is, I don't know. I don't care if you're religious. I don't care if you're Christian. I don't care if you're Jewish. I don't care if you're... It doesn't matter. Whatever you are. Um, I think I, I wouldn't be surprised if every Bible says it, but I'm going to say it. I'm a Christian and that's not has, doesn't have what to do with what I'm saying right now, but the Bible, how many times have you heard this knock on the door and it shall be opened unto you seek and ye shall find ask and you shall receive it. 
Yeah, the guy upstairs knows what's going on. This is God's law. This is nature's law. Like, like gravity's a law, this is a law. If you believe it to be true and you put your heart and soul into it, it has no choice but to happen. I've already put it on my, I've already put it on my uh, chart. I'm, I'm going to go sign the contract. It's already done. They're, the people are in the different um, dimension right now looking at my chart saying, well, yeah, he's, uh, he's rich. He's prosperous. Uh, he's, he's got a great marriage. He's happy. He, he's the most successful person that we see in that, in that area. He's like, he's amazing. Uh, yeah, no, he's, he's a success in every, in every, in every um, way that you can measure success. That's another thing. Don't measure success based on uh, how much money do I have, how many resources I have. That's not success. Success is having a goal and working effectively to meet that goal. I wasn't successful two days ago. I am successful right now. And you know what? You have to become successful before you can make a lot of money, before you can enjoy all the perks that come with being successful. You have to do it. You can't say, okay, I'm gonna make a fire. As soon as it starts getting warm, I'm gonna put in some wood. It doesn't work that way. So this is the final thing I'm gonna say if you're still here. The final thing I'm gonna say is that if you doubt me, give it a shot. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Nothing to lose. Even if, take uh, f 15 minutes out of each day for a week. Take an hour out of one day. Resources are free. 15, 20 years ago, people had to go through, they had to spend hundreds of dollars to go through some seminar or they had to, uh, you know, go find books at our library. We have free, we have infinite free resources everywhere you look. There's opportunity everywhere. So take the opportunity to go and utilize. Get on YouTube. This is how it happened for me. Get on YouTube. There's so much information. There's video after video after video after video that can teach you, that can tell, that, that can make you as enthusiastic as I am, as sure as I am, that I'm going to be a millionaire in five years. It can be you. There's no reason why not. And if there is a reason why not in your mind, that's you. That's not anybody else. That is in your mind. And you need to get rid of it because it's harming you and it's holding you back. The chains that are holding you down are imaginary chains. They're right here. You need to get rid of them. So take the time. You know, don't take the 30 day challenge unless you're serious about it. But do like I did. Take a day, try it out. Get rid of the negativity. We live in a world of negativity right now. We live in a world of hate. Get rid of the hate. Replace it with love. Replace it with positivity. Replace it with enthusiasm. Go on YouTube and look up how I changed, how to change your life in 30, 30 days. How to change, I don't know what it's called. Earl Nightingale, look him up. There's 5 million videos on the same subject. Go look him up. Start, start listening to some affirmations. Um, there's, 10 million different branches you can go down. Start learning uh, ways that you can improve yourself. And that's all I'm going to say on that. If I haven't convinced you, you're probably, you're probably not going to be convinced because, man, I'm on fire right now and I'm going to stay that way. Um, I'm going to start a little YouTube vlog. Um, so you get to see me, a truck driver, making, you know, 60000 a year, working paycheck to paycheck in debt go from me uh, until two days ago uh, insecure go nowhere do nothing completely happy with mediocrity at every step of the way telling everybody I know I'm happy with my things just the way they are I don't need anything better because that it was easier for me to do that than to get off my ass and go do something you're going to see me in 30 days, I'm going to do it every day just to tell you how I'm doing. I'm going to be honest about it. I'm not going to BS anybody. If I'm having a bad day, I'm going to tell you I'm having a bad day. If I'm feeling down, I'm whatever. I'm going to be honest. If I fail, I will be the first one to admit that I failed. 
but you know what? I'm not going to fail. And if I do, it's going to be right here. It's going to be my own fault. I'm not going to fail. So you can tune in. You can not tune in, whatever. Um, I'm going to do a little daily vlog, tell you how I'm feeling, and I'm going to try to come up with little things to uh, motivate you or to uh, give you an idea. Um, please, if you got any kind of resource, I'm sure there will be plenty of haters. Uh, I don't care about them. You can just leave or whatever. Um, but if anybody has any ideas, if anybody has any um, motivation for me, uh, or if anybody wants to collaborate, if anyone gets excited like me and says, hey, I want to be a millionaire in five years too. Get a hold of me. Let's talk. Let's, let's, let's figure something out. Let's come up with ideas together. We could get a little uh, uh, brain room going, you know? Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's do it. So, till tomorrow. Uh, I, I started the rest of my life yesterday. I started my success yesterday. Um, you should start yours soon. At least think about it. At least look into it.